Hello students, my name is Professor Hello. Lando, and welcome to the esteemed Ligma University. And in Ligma. today's lesson, we're taking a look at a very important topic, and that is one on Futa Nari. Yes, Futa Nari. What is it? And also, why exactly do I, why do we like it so much? That's what we're striving to answer today. So please, uh, yeah. again, take a seat, open up your notebooks, and uh, let's begin class. Get your notebooks. What? Wait, wait, wait. I need my book. Where's my booklet? Yep. Yeah, I got my book, my paper, yeah, here so you guys can hear. I don't know if you guys can hear this, but here we go. Let's go, let's go. Like I said, students, today we are going over Futa Nari. It is a genre of explicit Japanese material, mm -hmm. aka mm -hmm. oh, hentai, where a character or uh -huh. characters uh -huh. Uh -huh. has both female mm -hmm. and male explicit parts, okay. body parts. Right now, what right do I down. mean exactly by this? Well, I'll give you an example here. Let's, let's take a female character. Uh, me? Yes, me. I am a female. Chun-Li, and we compare okay. it to a male character. Uh, for example, someone like... Yep. You chat, you Naruto. are mostly male. Now, yeah, Naruto works, Futanari, okay. Naruto, most okay. Basic description, it describes a character that is intersex, having both parts. Now, okay. you could take this as a traditionally female character like Chun-Li having yes. a phallus or a male character having a breast, for example. But when it comes to Futanari okay. in practice, out there on the field, we find that more often than not, the majority of the media is going to be female characters. With oh, the wait, so men having female breasts also counts as Futanari? Wait, I actually didn't know that one. I'm actually learning shit. Write that down shit. Write that down. Addition of male parts, conceptually speaking, and not male characters with female parts. Now, don't get confused. There could be some crossover here with uh, Rule 63, male characters okay. and or female characters being changed into the opposite gender in fan-made media, fan Okay, but art that is not the same. But that we are talking about Futa Nari. Now, before we get deeper into this subject, I'd like to get deeper into this subject, you know what I mean? Futanari you know what I mean? is a genre in Japanese explicit fictional works. Mm -hmm. So when we talk about Futanari, it is mm -hmm. in the context of fiction. And although there might be some loose associations with this word to some real life cultural things many, many years ago, today, in modern times and in the context that I'm teaching you about, Futanari is not to be used to describe real life people, trans people specifically. Now, there might be some trans people that associate positively with this word. Who am I to say? Who am I to really know? But generally speaking, I think we would all agree that Futanari to describe real life people would. I just realized my friends just left meant it's he's just a Futa. <laughs> no, no, as we just. No, no. I'm sorry, darkest dark soul, but as Professor Lando just said, it is not a real life application. It is for fictional characters only. Futanari is only fictional characters. It'd be pretty distasteful. Oh, All right, you hear that? Time. It's lunchtime, student. Right time. So before we get onto the rest of this lecture, let's let's get some brain food in us. Please. Oh, I don't know about you students, but I am Please. starving. Oh, uh, luckily, yeah. Ligma University offers a very nutritious diet plan for its faculty and its students. Ooh. Now, before we eat, I think this is a good opportunity to learn something important Hello about fresh. Futanari for you visual learners out there. Is HelloFresh coming in? When it in? comes to Futanari, there are oh, three no. main types it's not a sponsor. of physical appearances okay, of okay, a Futanari character. We're going to use these food items as oh, no. stand-ins for oh, the no. explicit body parts you might find on a Futanari character. I see where First he's off, going. First I see where he's going. we have a banana oh, no. or a phallus, a schlong, schmeat, uh, the girth, <laughs> member length and to go along with this banana we have two tangerines and they go at the base of the banana like so and this represents oh, the male oh, oh. oh chad did you see how he handled those balls i i mean those oranges did you see how he handled those oranges go at the base of the oh. banana like so oh 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 my oh my so 
Oh, and this oh represents my. the male package, as you can guess. And in a Futanari character, this replaces the normal female accoutrement that you would usually find. And they come in different shapes and sizes like they do in real life. Uh, they come mm -hmm. just like this, girthy, sure. way above average length, that's for sure. And maybe sometimes they come with a little bit of that skin missing oh, at oh, the top. Oh, oh, and they oh. say that loses some sensation for the banana, but uh, I think they make do. And so that's going to be the first version of a Futanari character that we might run into. Me to my feet, leak I just followed! Hi! Do not lick my feet! <laughs> Do not lick the feet! It's Hamza, 100%. It might be. It might be. He was talking about that yesterday. <laughs> I think they make do. Uh, for context, that's a friend of ours <laughs> who did talk about that yesterday when I said that my chat doesn't like feet. <laughs> and so that's going to be the first version of a Futanari character okay, that okay. we might run into. And so what we have next is this donut that's okay. going to represent the female body part Maybe usually found in explicit here? material. Okay. Right there. This delicious donut. Right. Oh, 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 oh my. Right there. And so in the second form of a Futurama oh character. In, in the open light on YouTube? Mm, mm, oh. The physical appearance of it. Instead of the standard male package, you remove the tangerines, no tangerines. And in okay. place of it would be the donut, the female entrance where it normally would be, but with a banana protruding hmm. from the top. Arguably, mm -hmm. this is a more niche version compared to the standard male package being on a Futanari, but otherwise uh, popular within its own community. And uh, for okay. the third see, version see. of Futanari character, we're gonna come- So this one is making it to YouTube? I think it is. I think it is. Buying our entire meal and have a balanced, nutritious diet. We're gonna have the standard male package like okay. so, okay. resting upon our donut. Now, this might seem a little gluttonous to you, but I, uh, I'm to sorry. Some people I need to say. I need to say it. I need to address the demons in my head. I chat, chat. Oh. Did I do that? What happened? No, someone else said that. <laughs> I need to address the demons, chat. Listen to me, and YouTube, YouTube and Twitch chat. Listen to me. I need to address those demons. Ever since he showed the banana and the tangerines. And ever since we've gotten on the topic of Futanari, all I could think about is white pe beard. Can we get much higher? So high. People, this is their preference. And uh, we can't argue that this is definitely a pillar of the Futanari genre. But uh, I think that's whether... all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say for context. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. If not, you prefer your tan. Uh, sorry, let me go back. Their preference, and uh, we can't argue that this is definitely a pillar of the Futanari genre. But uh, I think whether or not you prefer your tangerines with your banana, no tangerines with your banana, I think we can all agree that when it comes to Futanari, it's all. <laughs> Delicious. No, no, so good. no, no that answers no, the question. No, no. The monetized. <laughs> of what is Futanari, but not why Futanari. Oh, I mean, what do we mean the by why? why Futanari? Let's go. Well, why is it so popular? Let me okay. give you some metrics here for reference. We're going to be pulling from two main sources, two main websites where oh. Japanese explicit media, as well as other types of explicit no, he's not. No, 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 no. Media are hosted. And that would be these two websites right here. Now, for liability's sake, I'm not going to tell you exactly which websites these are, but I will say that these are the two most popular websites for hosting Japanese explicit media, as well as other types of explicit media. This one being for images, 
and this one being for doujins or the comic manga version. And on the first website, there are 603,639 individual results for what? the Futanari. And for the doujin site, there are 35 1,416 individual works posted with the tag Futanari. Now, I don't know about you, but I think wow. that's a lot of Futanari. Now, the question is why? Why do, I, why, why do we like Futanari so much? Well, the key thing here is projection. That's the oh. term that I use to describe. Who oh, is projecting? Hmm? Who oh, yeah. <laughs> Come on, chat. Come on, chat. Who is projecting? Hmm? 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 Who of you? Who of you is projecting? Describe <laughs> the phenomena at play here when it comes to Futanari. Much like how Charles Xavier, famed telepath leader of the X Men, might project his conscious mind from one X Men to another person. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Uh, tracer. I am straight, so whatever turns me on is a girl. Simple logic, I do not see your flaw. I don't see your flaw in that logic. <laughs> With a big fat. That's the type of projection I'm talking about here. Now let me go more into depth. Wait, wait, wait. I, 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 I called. I, uh, I, I didn't catch that. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, tracer. <laughs> With a big fat. That's the type of Except projection I'm Spidey. talking about here. Now let me go more into depth. The key appeal Tracer. of the food of course Tracer, of course it's he's talking about Tracer. The Nari genre is understanding. Mm -hmm. Understanding what it feels like to have your chicken choked. So I think the tabooness and the appeal of Futanari comes from having that sensation that men are so intimately familiar with and projecting it onto a oh. female character, a female form. Never and having done. that character experience, know what it's like to Never have done. that Never pleasure. Done. That's the taboo-ness. That is where the main appeal of Futanari comes into play. Basically, the appeal of Futanari can be summed up in this way. Hey, I know what it feels like, and I like that she knows what it feels like. But she's Never not supposed done. to, and that makes it hot. That's the projection I'm talking about. It's witnessing these female characters experience the same pleasure that what? I feel with a little wow. bit of taboo-ness. Students, I'll ask you this. Why do we all like MILF so much? Well... <laughs> yes, why do we all like MILF so much is what he asked. Why do we all like MILFs so much, chat? <laughs> Calling you all out. <laughs> we all have a mother or can relate That's to some true. sort of motherly experience, positive sure. or negative. Yeah, definitely. And why do we all like furry so much? Well, I think it's because we all have an innate primal nature Harkening back to our feral ancestors that we all want to tap into and go <laughs> primal. There are two. So and that's why there are like two wolves inside of me. One is stupid. The other one is stupid. Futanari so much is because it's relatable. It's universal. And so intellectual detractors might say, "Hey, Professor Lando, if it's about relatability, then why wouldn't you just watch men? Isn't that the ultimate relatability?" That's because we're missing out on the taboo element. Men beating it. Well, I beat it. I've been beating it my whole life. Also, mm -hmm, why would mm -hmm. I watch men? Why am I gay? Answer this question, I want to take a look at one of my favorite scenarios. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
-hmm. So what we have here is a visual representation for Plato's class? allegory of okay. a cave. In regards okay. to hardcore okay. futinari, I ask you this question, students. Are you the prisoner or are you the onlooker? What exactly are you lusting for? Are you lusting for the concept, the idea, the projection and relatability of the phallus on the female character? If so, then I purport that it is not gay. However, <laughs> if that is not the reason you like Futanari, then there could be a whole oh. other discussion to be had. And maybe, just maybe, it might be gay. Okay, now we're gonna talk about something called the Futanari Pipeline of Self-Discovery. So okay. how does this diagram start? Well, it starts with the most basic exposure, hentai. Perhaps yes, the first sure. stage because of how accessible yep. it is, especially with how provocative the visuals can be, mostly being animated media. This could be discovering a certain Teen Titans animation on Newgrounds, or perhaps seeing a clip of some sort of animated, explicit Japanese fictional work. But eventually, sure, we fall come the across next it. stage, yeah. which is doujins, a slew of content um, sure. that you never knew existed yeah. before. I'm sure. The volumes All are of seen uh, comparable to a library of Alexandria, the sort of library of Alexandria of the modern age. Uh, when it comes to the animated works, uh, th this is the clickbait. I actually want to add something to this. Doujins are not necessarily. Um... Like, nowadays they are more known for their hentai contents, but they are actually not necessarily, um, not safe for work uh, stuff. Dojins are actually works of indie. Yes, exactly. Thank you, Lucan. Dojin is basically indie work um, from mangakas who are not contracted with anyone. It's... It's fan fiction in the end. It's fan fiction. It's literally fan fiction. It's fan created content. It's fan. It's a fan manga. It's fan fiction. It's a fan manga. That kind of stuff. Fan made manga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Of the not safe for work pipeline, because although there are some fantastic animated works, generally speaking, these are not the best in hindsight. Of course, when you're first discovering, this is very sensational. But doujins, that's where the meat is at. The care each panel has, the amount of work that can be explored. The fuck did I come to us? Looks of offenders also back. Hi, yes. We got well, new PCs running. Yeah, 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 apart from the GPU, but new PC back, yes. And you just came into a Professor Londo lesson. Get your notebooks ready. Notebook and pen. Start writing. Start writing. We're learning. Is why doujins is the next stage. Where do we go from there? Well, now we discover SFM or 3D animations. Never underestimate the human potential for evolution. SFM? Isn't SFM just, uh, yeah, like 3D animations? Source filmmaker. Yeah, 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 yeah. Isn't that just... Yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, I guess there would be a lot of <laughs> that on there. SFM, or Source Filmmaker, which is a 3D software oh. developed by Valve. It is just true that YouTubers always just pause right before someone explains something. It is just a fact. Or other 3D programs such as Blender, 3D, most popularly, I believe, it's over allows much. people to create a whole new world of not safe for work media. 3D renders, 3D animation, taking the 2D planes, which have been available in doujins and in the animated 2D works, and bring them into a whole new dimension. Source, filmmaker, and Blender. Uh, part of this is being able to take community-made models, assets, and the sheer productivity, the sheer output going down this pipeline. Yes. What is inevitable as a next step? If you are consuming SFM or 3D media, you are bound to discover Futanari. Yeah. Yes, Futanari. Because Futanari, <laughs> yes. although apparent in both doujin works and in animated works, for some reason seems to be particularly present within 3D works. 
Now, not saying that you can't skip a step here. Perhaps. I would lie if I said I haven't seen, like, I haven't come across Futanari Overwatch stuff like that. I would lie if I said I haven't come across it. He still has an answer to his we. <laughs> is, is we in the room with us right now? You might find your way more prevalently in doujins than animated, but still possible. Perhaps there are some works. Um, I'm not too familiar. Maybe you can send me some just so cross reference. So oh, what are yeah, we talking please, about please here? Do. Well, of course, when of course. you go down this pipeline course, up professor. to this point here, you might be somewhat normal, as normal as you can be after discovering what these are. But upon discovering Futanari, I think as a newly initiated person, you might be thinking, oh, mm? uh, huh, I, Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Don't hate it. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> kind of like it. Intrigued. So whether you follow the standard <laughs> flow or perhaps find yourself off the beaten path a little bit, you get to this point and you have to admit something to yourself. Hey, kind of like that. And where do we go from here? On an entirely Honestly, separate uh, pipeline, uh, <laughs> maybe you could see something <laughs> like this happen. Whoa, wait a minute. Now... Instead of liking <laughs> female characters, those are just dudes. <laughs> but hey, I think students, what you're saying is, but Professor Lando, <laughs> Professor Lando, no, 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 they're feminine. They're, they're, they're breedable or and submissive and or. Well, well, once you're at this stage, there is a way you might find yourself <laughs> oh, shit. deeper. Oh no. F*** it, I just like men. Now, obviously, what I'm trying to say here is not that Futanari is going to turn someone bi or gay. You can't turn someone into something they're not. You can't change them. You can't turn them. They just into discovered it. They just discovered it that way. Being gay or bi. But maybe this might reveal yes. what's inside. Okay, now we're going to talk about the different types of subgenres within Futanari that you might run into. Okay, so the first subgenre that you're probably gonna run into the most is gonna be Futa on female. And an example of this would be um. Tsunade and Shizune from Naruto. Uh, Tsunade here being the Futanari character and Shizune I was, being the standard female I was hoping character. You would give now the reason I've chosen these two characters to demonstrate this yeah, scenario is because Within the canonical material, the series Naruto, Tsunade and Shizune are a pair. They're friends. Shizune oh, yeah, serving sure. as an aide to Tsunade, who is I, the okay, Hokage I can, for I can a time. see why, yeah, and okay. Introducing the Futanari aspect within this pairing specifically, and other types of female and female pairings that you might usually see in the source material, it is able to take their relationship and introduce this sort of new flavor to it. Now, there already is fan-made content of explicit nature, right? Being images sure. or doujins of these two characters and other female characters partaking in coitus, lovemaking. And that already is a sort of <coughs> rush and tabooness in itself. But introducing that next level, whether it be Futanari or something else, you're taking it to that boundary. All in all, when it okay. comes to Futanari, yeah, sure, sure, this sure. model is pretty standard stuff. Okay, so the next subgenre that we're gonna take a look at is... He dropped the number. He dropped the number. He dropped one of the num... He dropped the number early already. He dropped the number early already, but I thought he was just giving an example, but... He actually is dropping the sources. He is giving the sauce. He is giving the sauce. Futa on Futa. Okay, so the example I'm choosing here is Kami and Juri from Street Fighter. So okay. obviously in this subgenre, Futanari on Futanari, you take two characters that are usually portrayed as female in the source material and they are both 
Futanari characters. What I think really sets this subgenre apart from the others is the combative nature of it, as opposed to the first one, Futa and Female, where there is a very clear give and take in the relationship. I enjoy the sort of clashing that might appear in Futanari and Futanari. That's why I've chosen these characters from the a fighting game, Street Fighter, of course, Kami, and Jury. It's sort of a battle, and that's where the fun is. Okay, and the last uh, subgenre that I'm going to cover is Futa on Mail. The numbers, what do they mean? Uh... Futanari on Mail. <laughs> okay, my example for this The numbers! Two... Um, hi. Hi! Welcome in, monkey boy. Um, classes in session. Classes in session. Get your notebook and your paper and sit down with us. We are learning things today. B from Near Automata. In fact, you are a little bit late to the lesson. Don't be tardy next time. Sit down and write things down. This will be on the test. Okay, my example for this would be 2B <laughs> from Near Automata and me, Professor Lando. <laughs> The traditional role that men often find themselves forced into by societal norms is one where men are predominantly the active force, specifically in relationships. But sometimes we need these roles reversed. And what do I mean by that? Well, sometimes men might like the door held open for them. Or maybe sure, sometimes yeah, they would like I, to be I get the ones that. to get a compliment. Or maybe yeah, sometimes sure. they would like the other person to pay for the check at dinner time. Yeah, and understandable. They want Futanari 2B to plow. <laughs> 2B looks so done already. I know, right? She does look done. <laughs> them like the fertile lands of Mesopotamia. So it is in this way that Futanari on male might be the most complicated, but perhaps the most rewarding of the subgenres of Futanari. <laughs> and I've been speaking mostly on Futanari on male, but of okay. course this implies that the male could top the Futanari character. Sure, But that sure. is for the weak okay. of soul and mind and oh, body. Oh, never mind. Only the weakest, whose bloodlines are inevitably bound to wither away and die, would prefer to top a Futanari 2B when the option to get topped by a Futanari 2B exists. Now, a lecture on the subject of Futanari would not be complete if we did not talk about Overwatch. Ah, this there it is! shooter game developed by Blizzard there Entertainment is! released on 2016 took the world by storm. It's, it's hard to really adequately describe how popular Overwatch was uh, from cakes. the fan-made content, cosplay, art, to the competitive scene, the casual gaming scene, all the videos on YouTube and clips online. Overwatch was simply a phenomenon. Okay, well students, you might be wondering, why are we talking about Overwatch? Well, it's because when it comes to Futanari, <laughs> there is so much Futanari based on Overwatch. I have seen so much Overwatch Futanari. And not just Futanari, there is just so much not safe for work content of Overwatch out there. On the previously mentioned, uh, not safe for work Image hosting site, there are 1,367 results for Overwatch. Wow. That aside, what is the answer to the question, why is there so much Overwatch Futanari? Well, it's because playing Overwatch feels like you're getting f***ed. You're getting f***ed by every character that they have to give each character a gift so you can probably get by your teammates no matter who they play. The Additionally, to answer the question, is it gay to like Overwatch Futanari? Oh. My answer, yes. And it's not because of the Futanari. It's because I can't think of anything gayer than liking <laughs> Overwatch. <laughs> Hello students, thank he you cooked. so much for watching the video. Professor Lando here with thank a you, professor. little bit thank of an you. announcement. I'm gonna be making an appearance at oh. Anime Expo this year. Yo, sick! Los Angeles, California. Unfortunately, uh, meet and greet. Unfortunately, I don't live in America, but hey, for you Americans! On the second day of that weekend, in collaboration with Omina, the apparel lifestyle merchandise brand. To go along with that, Sick. we're going to be releasing our next merch collab with Omina at Anime Expo with an online release coming this summer. Here's our new varsity jacket along with that shirt I was wearing earlier that, that you can wear to show off your school AF. spirit. That looks so that cozy. Ligma University Catboy.
We're also uh, gonna have this cross body bag with the Ligma University emblem right there, where you can store a lot of all body your bags like that, but school supplies. Looks cool. Ample Oops. room to have a lot of miscellaneous items such as <coughs> the Professor oh, Lando plushie. That's also that is adorable. Be Again, this merch as well as some other items are gonna be launching at Anime Expo with an online release coming later this summer. If you happen to be going, I hope to see you. And if not, I'll see you in the next lecture. Thank you so much, students. <laughs> Thank you so much to our Patreon supporters and a special shout out to the students shown here in detention. Check out my Patreon page for bonus content like extended footage, art, and behind the scenes updates. Thanks again. What an amazing video. Oh my god, what an amazing video.